No one is coming to save you. And I totally understand that you heard a story of a woman who was a struggling single mom and she was pushing her cart through Target and then somehow magically she bumped into this guy and he's rich and now she doesn't have to work another day in her life. And you might even know someone, you might work with someone who this is very much their story. I get it, it's fucked up. Rent is ridiculous. Owning a home is damn near impossible for a lot of people. And even if you can manage to get a loan, the upkeep, the shit that can go wrong, it's expensive. I understand that most people's jobs do not pay them a livable wage. Unfortunately, we live in a society where a great deal of us, most of us, gotta clock in, gotta go to work, or gotta come up with some kind of creative venture where we can still pay our bills on time. I get it. But we got to get out of this fairy tale mindset of thinking someday my prince will come. And you know what? I really do hope you meet a good guy. If that's what you want, I think that is amazing for you. I want that for you if that's what you want. I heard someone say this a while ago on TikTok, and I do not remember who it was in order to give them credit, but they said that realistically, most people are going to end up with someone in the same tax bracket as them, in the same salary range as them. The average household that has one parent staying at home while the other parent works, that parent that stays home, sooner or later, if unless they put away some money to accommodate for that time, they're gonna have to work part-time or do some kind of side hustle to bring in some kind of money to supplement the bills. Or if they don't wanna do that, the one person paying the bill option is going to become a real struggle for them and they're gonna to have to figure out how to scrimp and save and make ends meet. Even really amazing men, really good men, who really do love their wives, their wives still have to work. They just can't afford to pay everything on their own. Bare minimum, and please don't comment and be like, no, no, he's gotta be rich. You're not listening if, if that's your argument. Bare minimum to me, you have to at least be able to handle like all the main stuff. And then I will take care of like my phone bill and little stuff, you know, for me. And that's if you can't afford to, you know, do everything. And I get it. Sprinkle, sprinkle, rah, rah. Um, but let me tell you something. I've met several women throughout my lifetime who adopted that same lifestyle. And do you want to know something funny? They're always broke and they were always alone. They were always depressed and they were always just kind of wandering through life. Their next meal, their next opportunity depended on them meeting a man at some random cigar shop. And if they didn't get a man, they were depressed. They didn't have any goals or anything going for themselves. I'm not saying that, you know, things can't change and things can't get better. I'm not saying that you might not have that small chance of bumping into some guy who was wealthy, but I'm saying don't center your life around that happening, okay? Most of us are going to have to do this. We're gonna to have to work, we're gonna to have to make our own opportunities, and we're gonna to have to work hard doing it. Now, don't get me wrong, that doesn't mean settle for the guy who's talking about 50-50 on a random podcast. There's a difference in the 50-50 podcast, bro, and the guy that loves you and is truly working hard to make his way in life and to provide for you as best he can. There's a difference in a guy wanting you to be the provider and a guy that, you know, y'all are having an amazing, healthy relationship and y'all sit and have an honest conversation about finances to see what all he's going to take care of and where he might need you to jump in. There's a difference in the guy asking you for gas money, you know, every five minutes and the healthy guy who you fall in love with and y'all have a healthy relationship and he says, babe, I can take care of the mortgage. I can take care of all the utility bills and I got our groceries covered. If you don't mind taking care of your car note, I got everything else. 
And something else that I have noticed from those women who are trying to snag a millionaire, that shit takes a lot of work. You got to hang out at the right places. You got to dress a certain way. You got to look a certain way. You got to drive a certain car. You have to look the part and put in all this effort. And that takes a lot of energy and a lot of money. And none of that shit might pay off. These women are always stressed the fuck out. But if that is the lifestyle you're interested in, I'm not going to discourage you. You can you can go for it. But I'm simply giving a women, women a pep talk, a push of encouragement that I, I get it. Times are hard for a lot of people. A lot of things are unfair. But this is the reality for a lot of people. And even if you meet your, your prince, I once worked with a woman who met a man who paid for everything. He wound up being abusive and controlling. And the only good thing about him was his money. He had no personality, uh, no con nothing about him. He was trying to buy her with money. And it wound up being a bad situation. And she wound up losing everything because he got her to, lo to uh, leave her job. And then he wound up leaving her. Learn about finances. Learn about saving money, high interest, you know, things you can invest in. Always have money saved. And I don't think it's a good idea for women to be in situations where they're 100% dependent on a man anyway. I just don't like that. Um, if you can, let's say you really don't have to work and y'all, he can comfortably pay all the bills, even your stuff. I would work a part-time job. I've worked with women who have done that over the years. They just worked a little pitiful part-time job at Macy's or something, you know, just so they could have a little pocket change and something that was theirs. I'll see y'all on the next video.